morning everybody uh, this is a follow-up from my Yellowstone video I mentioned uh, probably about a month or so ago about a new show that was coming on called Yellowstone live and with all the talk of possible Yellowstone eruption and the earthquakes and all that uh, I just wanted to rehash it. Uh, it started Sunday night, this past Sunday night, and it's a four-night thing, so we've got two more nights of it. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry I didn't get back sooner, but there's two, uh, two more nights of it, and I've watched Sunday night and last night, and it's <clears throat> it's a pretty good program. Uh, they're looking more. <clears throat> it's on Nat Geo at nine o'clock <clears throat> if you want to watch it, <clears throat> and they're looking at it more from a wildlife point of view uh and a scenery type thing like they're showing the different mineral springs and the bison and the elk and the mule deer and the beavers and all that stuff uh it's more of a mm, animal planet type thing than it is a which i reckon that geo does look at wildlife but it's more about the life in yellowstone <clears throat> than it is about the volcano uh, they have talked about the volcano some <clears throat> and they have mentioned the earthquakes and they said there's been uh, About 25 earthquakes since they've been down there filming uh, <clears throat> But they're all like a One and a half on the Richter scale They call them micro quakes. They can't really feel them. You know, it's just the seismographs will pick it up But you can't actually feel the earthquakes <clears throat> um so there's a lot of videos about there being, you know, 25 to 50, even 100 earthquakes down there a day, but they're all <clears throat> they're all very, very small, uh, and that's just where the magma's moving under underneath the underneath the volcano. <clears throat> it doesn't really symbolize anything, <clears throat> but that's just but that's what it said on the TV. Now you know. You're not going to get the full story on TV. Uh, could those guys be telling the truth? Yeah, they could. Could they be fudging the facts a little bit to keep everybody calm? Yeah, they could be doing that too. You know, who knows? I'm not there. I don't have any seismographs that show me that stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I did have a person comment on that video about there's uh, <clears throat> a website or something you can go to. <laughs> And watch the seismographs and look at the charts and it shows you what they've been reading uh, I haven't done that uh, you know I'm I'm just I'm not doing any kind of speculating I'm just giving my opinion and uh, I don't really have time to be doing as much research as I need to do to be able to make a video that tells y'all what is and what isn't happening but uh, the show's pretty good uh, it, like I said, it comes on 9 o'clock on Nat Geo, and it's more about the life in Yellowstone with some very, very small details about the volcano. And for the last two nights, they've, they've showed the uh, <coughs> the big mineral spring with the different rainbow colors <coughs> and Old Faithful. They've really stuck to Old Faithful. Uh, <coughs> but that's it, man. Go check it out. 9 o'clock Nat Geo. Y'all have a great day. Peace.